Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. This is the Great Wall Knot. So this is a design from our uh, friend from Kazakhstan, uh, Makambet. I got his uh, Instagram feed linked down below. So we're doing a knot and loop one. I know we haven't done knot and loop bracelet in a while. I didn't know you guys, a lot of you like those knot and loop bracelets. So perhaps we'll do more in the future. But yeah, this is the design here. There's a front end or front side, back side. And yeah, overall this one turned out very nicely. I believe this is almost like a modification of the uh, slithering snake weave, but uh, I could be off on that. But anyhow, yep, yeah, that's the one we're doing today. And I hope you guys will like it. So remember to check out all my affiliate links down below and where to get Paracord and all that good stuff. Because when you shop through those links, you're helping out the channel greatly. And uh, yeah, also if you like what I do, guys, feel free to support me on my Patreon page. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I've got my paracord set up on my jig. You don't have to use a jig for this one because we're doing this knot and loop. Got my diamond knot tied at the end here. And if you don't know how to do that, of course, check out my link in the description for that tutorial. So this is how we're going to start off this bracelet. Um, normally you could just tie two uh, Solomon knots, but let's do this instead. I'm going to take the strand on the right. I'm just using solid red behind red. I think this looks better with uh, two of the same colors for the core and the weaving strands. Anyways, um, take the strand on the right. I'm going to wrap it around and go through the middle like this. Spring that around and then on the outside here, put this strand through that loop and then pull this tight like so. And this is going to form our loop up top here. And on this side, we're going to do the same thing. Wrap this strand around that cord and go through the middle. We're going to go through the middle like so. And then from here, from the outside and to the left of this cord, go through that loop and then pull this tight. Okay. So make those nice and tight. And now make sure you leave that kind of half inch loop up top for the diamond knot. Okay, so that should be okay. So now we can start the main weave from here. So now from here, we're gonna start the main weave. It's a little similar to the uh, Solomon knot. Anyways, we'll start with the strand on the right and bring that over the core, like so. You bring the left cord on top of that, and now bring that from behind and through the middle and out to the front, like that. Okay, so pull this closed. And then now you're going to bring this cord in the middle and bring that back down through the middle and out to the other side, like so. Okay. And then you're going to kind of repeat that now. So this strand is always going to be that lead strand that goes across the middle. Bring this strand across the middle like so. Now this cord on the right, same thing. You're going to put that over top, this strand here, and then bring that lead end through the middle like so and towards you and then close that up. So when you tighten this, you want this knot to remain like so. So you want these knots on the outside to be there and there. And then you'll have a second stage of that knot. Now we're kind of back to that middle part. You're going to put the working strand through the middle and bring it out to the other side. Okay. So now again, we're going to continue. We're kind of back where we started now. Take the strand on the right, bring it over. Strand on the left goes over that one. And then bring it from the middle through to the front. So you can close that up. Push that up and then now bring this back through the middle like so. Okay. 
Okay, and then now again, continue. Left strand over, right strand on top of that, and then bring this through the middle. Like that, and tighten that up. Push that up, bring this through the middle and back out to the side. Okay, and there you go. That is the pattern, quite simple. We've done it a few times now. So just continue that pattern going down the middle. And uh, yeah, we'll go all the way to the end and then we will figure out how to close it off from there. Okay, so I've come down to the end here, and uh, one thing I didn't really point out um, as I learned doing this weave is that uh, one of your strands will end up longer than the other. So the strand that's not the lead strand, so not this one, but this one, you might want to give yourself an extra foot on that side. I will put an annotation earlier in the video for that, but uh, anyways, just pointing that out. So to finish it off, um, you know, let's just try this. We're going to go back this way. And instead of going through the middle, we'll just bring it to the other side. Just like tying a regular old Solomon knot. And there we go. I think that's a pretty nice finish. It should work just fine. Okay, so tied off that Solomon knot. And then I'm just going to snip and singe my cord here and here. And this diamond knot's already done because I kind of recycled this. But uh, yeah, just clip off the excess and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are done. This great walnut is finished and it looks quite nice. Uh, you could try this with a different color core, but um, I don't know what it is. I like it with that um, same color uniform core for the uh, color for the core. And it turns out quite well. There's a backside again, of course. So that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to check out those affiliate links down below where you get Paracord. And also check out uh, Makambet's uh, Instagram feed. I got a link down below to that as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you on the next one.